Hi, my name is Tom Pashley, Executive Vice President of Pinehurst Resort and Country Club, and we're here at, at our famed clubhouse where five of the eight Pinehurst courses start from. Pinehurst was founded in 1895. Golf wasn't originally part of the plan. It was originally created as a health retreat, but golf came along in 1897 as our guests were uh, using little white balls and sticks and they were, they were disturbing the dairy cows. So Pinehurst decided that they needed to build a golf course. So the first golf course was built in 1897. Uh, and then in 1907, Donald Ross built famed Pinehurst number no. two, which is gonna be the course that hosts the US Open in 2014. Pinehurst number no. two was Donald Ross's masterpiece. He designed the golf course in 1907. He lived just off the third green, so he was constantly out looking at it, tinkering with it, and making it into his, his masterpiece. In fact, in 1935, the greens were originally sand. In 1935, he converted the greens from sand to grass in preparation for the 1936 PGA Championship. Pinehurst No. 2 hosted its first U.S. Open in 1999, a very memorable Open with Payne Stewart winning on the 72nd hole with a great putt on the last hole. Uh, the second U.S. Open was in 2005. Michael Campbell from New Zealand won that championship in fairly dramatic fashion, also uh, closing out Tiger Woods on the last hole. 2014 will be our third U.S. Open, and we're excited about that, uh, but there's a unique twist this time. It's not only the U.S. Open, but the very next week they're going to play the U.S. Women's Open on the exact same golf course under the same course conditions. So it's the first time that the USGA has ever hosted back-to-back -back US Open and US Women Open championships. When we got the call from the World Golf Tour that they wanted to come out and film number two in preparation for the U.S. Open, we were excited. It's a great opportunity for golfers all across the country to have a chance to play a golf course where a U.S. Open is played. Uh, they do a great job. The photography is amazing. It is so, it's, it's as realistic as you can get uh, next to playing the golf course. And a few years ago, World Golf Tour filmed Pinehurst Number no. 8, which is, uh, was a course that was opened for our centennial anniversary. And it, every time you see it, it just brings a smile to your face. They've done such a nice job capturing the beauty of Pinehurst Number no. 8, the wetlands, uh, the contours of the greens. It really is the next best thing to playing it. Golfers, golfers think all their lives about having a chance to play a U.S. Open golf course, and very rarely do you get the opportunity to. Uh, Pinehurst is a public accessible resort, so many people do get a chance to come here, but really the, the virtual U.S. Open is the next best thing. It allows you to feel uh, the, the sense of the place. Pinehurst number no. two is known for its crowned greens, and you'll be able to see that and, and, and experience it uh, from the comfort of your own home. When, when players are playing it during the U.S. Open, and you you see them potentially putt off of one of the greens, which happens frequently on number two, you'll understand it because it's happening to you when you play the game. So really it gives you a great understanding of, of not only the look, but the playing conditions that people experience when they play the golf course.